Hey guys, what's going on? This is Brandon here, and today we're going to create a server icon for our Minecraft server. Now this will work for a bucket server or a regular Minecraft server, it doesn't really matter. So basically, what you're going to do is create a PNG file that is 64 by 64 pixels big. And it's going to have an image in it. And as long as you save it as server-icon.png, all you have to do is click it, drag it, and drop it into your server folder. You can see it just shows up in the list. Now if we run our server, this should automatically show up next to our server name in our list on the game. So we'll go ahead and we'll load it up. We'll see if it works. Click on play. It's done loading the server. Multiplayer. And there it is. There's our PNG file we just downloaded into the game. Alright. So we'll cancel this. We'll minimize the game. I'm going to go ahead and stop the server. And I'm going to go over a few th techniques to show you how to make your own um, icon. So it's pretty simple to do. There's a free program called GIMP. Basically you're just going to download this free off the internet. It's a free program so it's not like it's pirated. You don't got to worry about that. It's just like Photoshop but it doesn't cost any money so that's what makes it really cool. So once you download it, install it, you're going to open it up. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to New. And here we're going to do 64 by 64 pixels big. This is our image size. Okay, we're just going to click all right. Now we have it. This is what we're going to use to make our icon. Anything we put in here and we save it, well actually we're going to save it and then we're going to export it to a PNG. That'll be what shows up on the server window there. So I have some pre-downloaded brushes here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make one real quick. Try to make this the same size. Too small. That's not bad. Here, actually, if I go to brushes, just paints it right in. There we go. And then let's see. I'm gonna do a sword. That's my background. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a new layer. So we'll go up here to layer, new layer. I'm just gonna call it layer. And then here's where I'm gonna add my sword in. So that sword's a little, uh, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Tools, Let's see where is it at, Transform, Flip, Horizontal, there we go. And then on the same layer I'm going to go back to my brush, I'm going to add another sword. It's like that, there we go. So the dual swords behind the TNT. Eh, it could be lined up a little better, but that's all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we're going to Export. And when it goes to Export, it's going to export a PNG file. We'll just click on the desktop, and we're going to save it Server-Icon. And we're going to click Export. Uh, save background color. Yeah, we're going to leave everything default. Just click export. And there it is. It shows up on our desktop. So, once we get it here, then we just drag it into the craft bucket folder. Or whatever your server name is. Uh, we're going to stop. Move. Let's see. Yeah, we got two there. This one in the brushes. And then basically, we'll move the new one in. All right. We double click. Let's load it up with the new icon. See if it works. So, we're done with the GIMP, but it, after we see if this works, we'll. Uh, Go over how to install the brushes into GIMP. 
which can be kind of a daunting task in itself, but it's pretty simple. The game's right there, multiplayer, and there it is, updated it, so good. Cancel, we'll do that. We'll stop the server. It's done, we'll quit. All right. So now we're in GIMP, and we need to install our brushes. So first you want to get your brushes. I just searched GIMP Minecraft brushes. First thing that came up was a forum. I clicked on that. Took me to this page where the guy has, hey, I got right here. Clicked on that. Click on download right here. It'll download the, the brushes. Once they're downloaded, I just dragged them to the desktop. And here they are. Well, that I put in there. But here's all the brushes. Now once you get all these brushes here, Basically, you can select them all, and you can, let's see, we can either cut them or paste them. We can just copy them. And then we're going to go over to Applications. Here, I'm going to go ahead and close this internet window. We don't need it. we we'll go to Applications, and we're going to go to GIMP. I'm going to right-click on GIMP, Show Package Content. I'm going to go to Contents, Resources, let's see, Share, GIMP 2.0, brushes and there we are as you can see I've already downloaded all these in here but if I had not I would just right click brushes and do paste so I'd paste the brushes here they'd show up and you're good to go once you do that you go back to GIMP you're gonna right click down here where your brushes are and you're gonna click refresh brushes it's gonna refresh them it'll show up and you'll be all set and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up uh, let's see how discard changes. I don't need to save it. I don't need it. So there you go. So if you guys like this video and you felt it gave you some information on how to do this and you liked it, please give the video a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any ideas on something you want to see done, leave me a message in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do about making a video for you. So all right, thanks for watching everybody.